what if we had someone who could take hits and get buffed up in return? In most circles, we'd call that a masochist, but in Fate Grand Order, we call that Gareth. She's a two-star Lancer introduced in FGO's upcoming anniversary, and she promises a lot of tank and spank action. Does she deliver? Let's find out. The core of her kit is Gareth of the Fair Hands. As with Jason, names are tentative. At max level, it gives 20% meter, but it's also her primary damage tool. When she pops it, she gets an attack buff every time she's hit. Unlike enmity characters, she's rewarded for the quantity of hits taken, so you're incentivized to tank up. Now the attack buffs only last for a single hit, so the idea is to eat a bunch of attacks and then retaliate with a huge buster crit or noble phantasm. Keep that in mind. To draw aggro onto herself, Gareth has Ring of Disguise. It gives her taunt, defense, and NP gain. These effects only last for a single turn, which is a real shame. Puts you in the position of choosing between immediate damage and redirecting NPs. Now, Gareth has the highest health pool of all two-star servants, but low rarity stat lines aren't the greatest at eating damage. To compensate for the sheer likelihood of dying during her taunt turn, she's got Battle Continuation. It's a simple gut skill with a needlessly long cooldown. Kinda crap, but it's functional. But very recently with the release of Lost Belt 6 on JP, it's gotten an upgrade. Now it's The Wolf Never Sleeps, gaining a beefy multi-turn crit buff and immediate star dump. Those are quite nice because Gareth is actually pretty decent at generating stars for herself. Also increases her reliability since you can turn a buster card into a buster crit pretty much on demand. Great as an alternate way of offloading attack stacks if your NP is down. Speaking of which, Gareth's noble phantasm is Irel Lupus. It's a single target buster attack with Invuln Pierce. Also defense reduction tied to overcharge. Nothing too exciting on its own merits, but it's your bread and butter for turning your attack stacks into damage. The way I see it, you've got two schools of thought for using Gareth. Either she's a grenade you throw right away, or she's the core of your offense. For the former, you can just taunt and guts up, eat damage, pop your lupus, and then die. Low risk, okay returns. Really the only issue here is that she's not doing much in the way of screening. She's gonna survive her taunt turn, so you're relying on enemy RNG to take her off the board. A real hassle. That said, you can fix that by comboing her with a targeted taunter like Kiritsugu or Chen Gong. The latter is another new low rarity servant who can buff her buster damage and, if she survives the second taunt, kill her off with his noble phantasm. The attacker strategy is way more risky but gives you higher returns. When team building, you can buff her defenses and give her sustain with servants like Waver, Merlin, Hans, and Mash. Shakespeare gives a buster buff, charge, and star generation. Asclepius repeatedly gives her guts. Nightingale has a buster buff, heal, and anti NP utility. And Romulus works as a second attacker in archer fights while also donating a buster guts combo. Gareth also has synergy with two of the non caster supports. Rainus gives charge, augments her defenses, and lets her taunt without needing to commit her guts. Quite nice if you want to keep the wolf never sleeps as an offensive tool. Then there's Osakabe Hime, who can strengthen Gareth's bulk while helping her crits. Oki's Noble Phantasm gives additional max health, defense, and a hybrid buster quick buff, all of which Gareth can use. But as for that risk I mentioned, a lot of it has to do with Gareth's rock bottom attack stat. She has the second lowest attack of all two star servants and the sixth lowest of all servants. So when you don't have attack stacks, she doesn't do a damn thing offensively. And remember, those stacks rely on her being attacked. Even with her taunt, that's not a sure thing. You see, the fundamental building block of Fate Grand Order is the Spriggan. Yeah, they could play footsies with your face, or they could sit there and spam buffs to accost you with later. When you fight servants, you're really just fighting Spriggans in waifu form. If you pop a taunt and your enemy opts to jerk off, you're doubly screwed. Not only did you lose a chance to get multiple attack stats, but that enemy now has the impunity to go after your supports instead. Gareth's core flaw is that she cedes the initiative to your enemy, and there's no guarantee they'll play along. Not to mention that your own card RNG is also an obstacle. If you get stacks but your NP's down, any of her other cards will spend those stacks. If it's a buster card, that's not so bad. But what if you pull her arts and double quick cards? That hand forces you to use at least one of her cards, and now you've taken a bunch of damage and spent all these resources for pretty much nothing. That's the risk you're taking. Moving on to craft essences, you've got some interesting options. Defensive picks include Holy Shroud of Magdalene against male enemies, and Iron Will training otherwise. Grenade builds can offer good a good a poster girl, and Gareth is really good at exploiting both halves of its effect. The multi-turn taunt lets you build stacks, while the attack buff is relevant since she'll be fighting back. An alternative is Code Ghast. It has no taunt, but gives a temporary attack and defense buff. If you need Gareth to do immediate burst damage and also survive past turn 3, it's an option. For attacker builds, you can leverage something with starting charge. Recently, JP got a standard full CE called Jewel Magic Bullet, which also has buster effectiveness. Something to look forward to. 
Otherwise, you've got your usual range of sacrificial taunter CEs, Merciless One, Battle of Camlan, and 500 Year Obsession. For command codes, go with healing picks like Maiden of Orleans or Lucky Beast. If you're hellbent on attacking with Gareth, Mistress of the Heavens will bulk up her buster crits. Gareth is a gimmicky servant. While interesting, her kit has this tension between its offensive and defensive parts, which give you conflicting options. Murphy's Law makes your attacking build pretty perilous. It's a huge hassle since your enemy controls your timing and card RNG can conspire to waste your stacks. And defensively, she does very little in terms of disruption. She screens at least, but so does anyone else with a one-turn taunt. For that purpose, I wouldn't use Gareth over the other low-rarity taunters, except maybe Benke. But I guess sometimes you just want that extra meat shield. Gareth is thoroughly niche. The effort you need to really exploit her gimmick isn't worth the returns you get in terms of damage. If you want to waifu her, whatever, just know what you're getting into. Thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more, and come watch me on Twitch where I stream every weekend, 3 p.m. Pacific time, Friday through Sunday. This weekend, my scuffed mistake account is going to take a shot at the GSSR. Hoping for Scotty, bracing for Iskandar. Twitch.tv slash Tyson. You won't want to miss it.